the workshop this morning. Uh, going to complete the window installations. So we've got two more windows to install. Uh, they're going to be overlooking the living room area of the van. I'll show you the panel now where it's going to go. So this rear section here, we're going to install a double window. Uh, that looks like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. So I'll show you when it's done. So I've marked up the aperture with a sharp pen and I've also drilled a reference hole in the centre um, and what this does is it allows me to just check on the inside um, whether or not the line that I've drawn is going to be interfering with any of the supporting um, ribs on the inside so I'll show you that now so we're now on the inside of the van and you can see that reference hole which is in the centre of the aperture that I've drawn I've had to remove this uh, strut here which is just designed to uh, stop the rattling of that panel it's not a structural strut um, and I just got that out using um, a pair of snips um, to cut the tops here and then the adhesive which is Sikaflex uh, I used a Stanley blade uh, just to run through that bead and you can see where the adhesive was on the panel Hi guys, so the aperture is uh, marked up with a sharpie pen I'm now going to use a drill uh, to form a hole for me to then insert my jigsaw I'll then cut around the sharpie line and uh, we'll have a hole where the window is going to go I couldn't find the glasses, so goggles it is. When using a jigsaw on the metal panels, um, you should wear eye protection just because the little shards of metal are really hot and sharp and they get in your eyes and scratch them up. It's a good look. Ensure you use a metal cutting blade on your jigsaw and to prevent scratches to the paint surface apply electrical tape to the base of your jigsaw. Just a little bit of advice when you're doing the window cutouts, if you cut the bottom part of the window out first then it means and do the top bit last it's still hanging on, on that top bit whereas if you do the top bit first and then underneath the actual sheet metal will start to fall out the window as you've still got cuts to do so if you do it like this it's still held in place relatively nicely until you make that last cut along the top when cutting this last edge work in from one side at a time and ensure that the final cut finishes in the middle of the window so here's a view of the hole cut from the inside and as you can see because I've got that reference hole drilled first and I was able to measure how big the aperture would be on the inside I've missed all of the ribs um, that are above and below the aperture so it's good to just check uh, from the insides uh, before making your cuts. Hey guys, so I've put the rubber trim uh, around the raw edge now. I've uh, painted that with Hammerite and uh, I'm about to wipe down the panel with this isopropyl um, liquid and that basically uh, gets rid of any impurities on the surface of the panel so that when I put the bonding adhesive onto the glass uh, it creates a really good strong seal around, uh, around the panel and the glass. So I'll do that now. So I've run a single continuous bead around the window and uh, made sure it's nice and thick using a whole tube of adhesive on each window and I'll now lift that into place and tape it on. Uh, in order to lift the pane of glass uh, buy yourself the suction handles from Amazon, it makes the job a lot easier to do. Once it's secured in place, apply tape 
uh, for a few hours don't move the vehicle and the finishing result would look something like this